Welcome back. You're still tuned in to episode 13 of The Digital Dish. Also joining us on the couch for this episode is Osho Shippo, renowned film director and producer. Greetings, Osho, and welcome to The Digital Dish. Greetings, Denver, and thank you for having me. It's a very special place that you're occupying. There have been giants on that seat, so you are equally important to us, and thank you very much for joining us today. I can only be honored to be here. Please talk to us about how you connected, how you got involved with the film industry. The most fascinating thing about this industry is that it's integrated in the career where I started off, which is advertising, right? So I started my career in advertising and I started as a, or not started, but towards my third year, I became a storyboard artist for TV commercials and production related projects. Storyboard artist? Yeah. What on earth is that? So a storyboard artist is someone who sort of conceptualizes and illustrates a story of a commercial brief, right? And so you put all those drawings and illustrations into a template that would tell or guide the client into the story of the TV commercial that you want to tell and sell. And so that grew on me as a storyteller, right? I was, concept I was conceptualizing TV commercials. So that grew on me as a storyteller and that's where my interest for filmmaking came about. I wanted to tell stories. So my interest of directing actually came into play there. And so I started to venture off in in the interest of shooting films and short films like that. So that's actually how it came about. I was a storyboard artist and I liked the idea of telling a story and the framing and how, uh, where the camera would be and where the characters would be positioned, the, the composition, cropping, everything like that. It just built me up into that whole interest of wanting to um, be a producer, director, well, director mainly, but producer as well. Build you up into the giant that you are in this industry. Talk to us about some of the challenges that persist in the industry. I think, uh, technical side, the availability of funding. I mean, look, we are in Namibia and our industry is still growing. It's just so scarce to have such budgets, large budgets readily available to go out and produce, you know. So it's only usually like annually where a certain amount of budget is allocated for us to do maybe one feature film per year or mm. two even, which I think uh, we should be able to do more than that. And then the other challenging thing is um, I really think it's finding that winning formula to a f film or production. Because here's the thing, everyone wants to tell a story, but it's only few stories that are really impactful enough to um, be award winning, right? So that means when you are writing or when you're working with writers, you are trying to also find the winning formula within that script or story that you feel the audience will love. Because sometimes the mistake that we as creators make is that we, tr we tend to make films for ourselves, mm. but forgetting that we are making films for our audiences. We are not making them for ourselves, actually. It's for the whole audience. And that's where the winning formula is so important, right? That's why the winning formula is so important because at the end of the day, right, when you walk into that c cinema, you want your audience to either laugh or cry or be afraid or be em emotional. You want them to feel something, mm. right? And it's only when they feel something that they'll go and talk about it for like days and 
months and there's a message to that that people leave with you know, after watching. Unfortunately, there are also a number of misconceptions around the industry. From your perspective, which are those key misconceptions? There's many, and I mean the fact that you know all artists are just like weed smoking guys who who like. Where is that coming from? I don't know. You see, the thing is, right? The there's this whole misconception about our industry not being a priority in mm. terms of it's not important enough to allocate let's say 20 million us to try and get the industry up but then people forget that everyone is on netflix for that reason it's to be entertained right whether or not our f films aren't there yet or some are but it's just a thing of content locally and internationally it's it's very important mm. during the pandemic when everyone was forced to be indoors the one thing they needed to keep them sane was content mm. and the fact that you know government or institutions will say no we will allocate only a certain portion to this industry or something like that but then it, uh, yeah it becomes a bit of a loss to us because i mean we are really passionate about the industry and right now it's a quantity over quality because we need quantity we need a lot of content in order to find the quality and value and appreciation for that industry. And the winning formula, of And course. the winning formula, that's But you right. know what? Entities that have realized what these challenges amount to, what these misconceptions do to the industry, are Multi-Choice Namibia and the Namibian Broadcasting Corporation. Hence, the excitement about this episode, namely the call for submissions. Do you believe that this initiative will impact this industry positively? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think it's an amazing initiative. Because, I mean, when I attended two film premieres last week at NTN, the noise and the energy from the crowd on just on what they were watching, it shows how much appreciation and love is, is, is needed for local content so it will definitely impact the country a lot it will create you know more, more jobs it will allow us to find our foot in establishing a bigger platform in, in establishing a growth in the industry and wanting to tell stories and push those stories out into different platforms on DSTV or at the festivals or at the awards or wherever, you know. Mm. So, yeah. Osha, your passion is undisputed. We can't wait to have you back on this couch. But as we know, time has this sneaky habit of growing wings when fun is involved. Before we let you go, anything that no one knows about you or perhaps that very few people know about you? I enjoy cooking, mm. especially uh, gourmet type meals. So I do spend quite some time in the kitchen experimenting with different ingredients and trying to push the level of creativity in food making as well. So I enjoy spending time in the kitchen. A creative both on set but also in the kitchen. That's a beautiful combination. Yes, it is. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Before we let you go, any word of encouragement for prospective filmmakers, please? The most important thing which I tell everyone is to, especially if you are an aspiring person, just get started. Start somewhere. Even if it means you only have an iPhone, then use that iPhone to your creativity and tell stories. Be because now there's this misconception that people, audiences look for quality. But the only quality they look for is in your storytelling. And, and that's the lasting impression that you want to leave on people. So have a nice story and just get started on it. And then build up 
from there in terms of gear and equipment and everything like that. And for DSTV and MultiChoice to have the, this beautiful opportunity, I mean, I would recommend everyone just visit their uh, social media pages on GoTV, DSTV and NBC. Sign up, follow the instructions and get started. If you have a beautiful script or even if you don't have one, there's still time to craft something beautiful that, that can have a lasting impression. But most importantly, find your winning formula. How will this have a lasting impression? on the audience that you would like to speak to. So get started. That's the most important thing. Get thank started, you. yeah. Yes, thank you for giving us a peep into your life, into this industry, and into your winning formula. We look forward to having you back. Thank you so much. I look forward to coming back. In the words of a renowned film director and producer, Osho Shipo, just get started. We'll be right back after the brief break. Storytellers, we want you. MultiChoice Namibia and the Namibian Broadcasting Corporation are looking for filmmakers to tell authentic Namibian stories that will make us laugh, cry, and escape into an exciting new world of local content. Do you have a great story idea with a fresh take on real-life themes and relatable characters? Then submit your proposal for a 50-minute TV film, including a synopsis, budget, and CVs of your creative team. To call for submissions NAM at na.multichoice.com by the 25th of March 2022. Terms and conditions will apply. Check out DSTV, GoTV, and NBC on social media for more info. Proudly brought to you by MultiChoice Namibia in partnership with the Namibian Broadcasting Corporation. Welcome back. You're still tuned in to episode 13 of The Digital Dish. What we have done in the meantime, we've hopped across to the NBC headquarters to gauge their take. And joining us on the couch of a different setting and nature is Mr. Saki Shikufa. He's the acting HOD of Content Hub at the Namibian Broadcasting Corporation. Greetings, sir, and welcome to The Digital Dish. Thank you for having me. It's not a couch. Um, on this end, but it seems to be a very comfortable chair. It on is. my end, it is quite comfortable. It is comfortable, indeed. We would like to hear what the NBC's take is on the call for submissions. How did this come about? We are excited. Like our director general said, we are excited. And Multitrace, Namibia, and NBC have, have been in a... We have been partners for a long time. And this project is as a result of that partnership. Our director general is a broadcaster. He understands the importance of storytelling, and he understands how important we need to tell our own stories. This is the time. Very well. Multi-choice Namibia is, of course, also committed to using the platform of storytelling and its power to continue enriching lives. Talk to us from your perspective about the importance of local content. Storytelling is our obligations to the next generation. Africa has been telling stories since time immemorial. These are just platform for us to tell our stories to the whole world. We used to tell stories around the fire. And like they say, until the lion gets its own, uh, own storyteller, the story about the hunt will always glorify the hunter. Mm. So. Namibians need to tell their own stories because telling your own stories does not only define where you're coming from, where you're going, it also defines who you are. I love the beautiful analogy of the campfire. That's something that we all can relate to. What is it that you're looking for in terms of these films? We are looking for authentic Namibian stories. Stories that captivate the viewers. Stories that tells that, that tell who we are as a, as a, as a nation and uh, we are looking for stories that uh, are original mm -hmm. love stories uh, dramas even love stories yes okay and the the, 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 old, the whole project it's about film we are focusing on on film with a very good stories line any final words before we say goodbye to you? I, I, I would like to say to, to all the 
filmmakers out there. COVID-19, for instance, has been, too, has been very devastating to the industry. This is the opportunity for you, for everyone, for every Namibian to come out and, and show us what they can. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. We have come to the end of episode 13 of The Digital Dish. Please remember to continue liking, please share these broadcasts. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the Multi-Choice Namibia YouTube channel. And for those content creators, for those filmmakers wanting to take up this amazing opportunity, you can send your content to call for submissions, one word, lowercase letters, call for submissions, at na.multichoice.com. You do have until one minute before midnight on Friday, the 25th of March, 2022. Do look forward for an exciting episode. That is, of course, episode 14 of The Digital Dish. For now, goodbye.